Okay, I thought I'd show you what the jewel thief really is. Let's assume this is the positive line, positive lead, and this is the negative lead of a 1.5 volt battery. Now, you have got a coil coming down or an inductor. You can make this with an inductor as well. And you've got a second inductor coming down. And that's your transformer. And it's got a ferrite core. Now, um, very basically, here is your transistor. It's an NPN. This is, it's an NPN. This is the collector, the emitter, and this is the base. All you do is you connect that leg to that, and off of this one, you come off with a resistor, and you connect it to that. And this is a one kilo ohm resistor. Now your LED goes on here. Now this is the traditional traditional jewel thief circuit. Very basic, works very well. <coughs> it lets you suck, so to speak, the very last bit of energy out of a flat battery. Uh, 1.5 volt battery. Um, I hope that makes a bit of sense. Uh, one thing you need to remember is if this is the beginning of this inductor, this will be the beginning of the other inductor. Hence you cross over the two leads. So if this was the start and that was the start, you'd connect the one start with this one's end. If you can see, yeah, I've got two ferrite beads. That's what they look like. And you'll notice that the one has got quite a large diameter hole in the middle. That's the one we're going to use. This one, we just won't be able to get enough uh, wire through the center. So we'll put that away. Okay, so now we will need a length of copper wire. That might just be enough. And we will tape the strand so that it doesn't unwind. Here's our copper wire. So we will get these two ends together. On this end Span it through and make the loop so that it is nice and tight. To do that, we'll use little pliers just to pinch it a little bit closed. All right, so all I'm going to do is wind this through as many times as I possibly can. Whoa, slow down. Be careful of this happening. Because if that does happen, not only does it look unneat, you could actually damage the wire and pull the stuck again. Pull the enamel off of it. There we go. Alright, so we'll keep doing this as many times as we possibly can.
Maybe I'm going to see if I can get that a little bit tighter. Yep, that might work. Okay. This one through, this will be the last one. That is really tight. There you go. Now I don't know how many how many times I've done this. Maybe if you're watching the video you could have uh, counted it. Now the easiest way to get the enamel off of these wires is to just <coughs> excuse me just to use um, a soldering iron and turn the ends the heat will take it off and there we go we will just put a bit on there and the heat of the solder will remove the enamel and also turn the copper the bare copper underneath that now what we're going to do is we are going to find out uh, sorry we're gonna find out uh, which wires match across so let's get this up I don't know if you can see that I'm sure you can it's on continuity <coughs> So what we'll do is we'll just hold that onto there, hold it onto there. It's not that one. Not making good contact, but there you go. So those two are the same wire. So what I need to join is this one and that one. So what we'll do is we'll bring these together, give them a twist. To get them all together we'll keep them together and we will turn solder them again that's long enough uh, switch that off out of the way and we will give that a bit of a turn there you go but messy there but that's okay We know that this is going to be to the positive leg, so we'll cut that off. Get a bit of that. So I've got two positives here now. I was going to use this as an experimental system, but I think what I'll do is I will connect these together anyway. And we will use this as our as a positive, as a single positive. I hold my finger in front of it so I can catch the bits so they don't go flying everywhere. So we know that that's going to be our positive, so we'll just do a reflow of that onto there. And that's good enough. So that's onto there. We know this is our negative lead. Our negative lead is going to go to the our emitter of the transistor. So we'll give that piece of wire a bit of a turn and slip it off. And if 
we remember correctly, our emitter is this one here. So if we bend that up a bit, um, I could have actually left it a bit like that, but it's fine. What I'll do is I'll just bend this over because I don't want to stress that leg too much. Uh, so we'll just bend that over a wee bit. And we will give this a quick turn. So this is quite a lot large actually, but there we go. That's good enough. And we'll just attach that to a bit of a reflow. That's good to go. Now we know our base has got to have a 1k resistor on it. So we will bend this one a little bit like that. Because we don't need that just yet. Now, our base needs the resistor on it. So let's trim that down. Trim that down. Oh, that's not good. Give that a bit of a tin. And we'll do the same with this. And then we'll just reflow that. That's good enough. Then what we'll do is, um, I think we'll just nip it off. And we'll bring this leg over. Remember this has got uh, enamel on so it will be Perfectly fine, even if it touches another wire, not a problem whatsoever. After all, it's in a transformer and it's laying next to other wires. That's on. <coughs> now, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just move this, bend that up slightly. Bring this one over. And then bring this one over this way. Just like that, just so that you can see how it's made. Reflow that. Oh, I left that too soon, but okay, that's fair enough. That looks good. So now we know the negative of the battery is this side here. And we are wanting the positive to be switched through the through the transistor. So let's just form these just a wee bit. Something like that. Okay. And what we will do is we'll put them on. Over the, over the end of the transistor. In doing so, we'll be able to just tack them on there and it will be fine. So, oh, the solder is not very good. So we will just touch that, touch that. And just turn both of those. And, oh, we almost put it the wrong way around. Okay, so we'll just touch that, and we'll just touch this, and lo and behold, I'll switch the light off, so just bear with me one second, there you can see the light is on. <laughs> 